everyone. Welcome to the post-game show. That was nuts. Um, yep. Sum up the game. Nothing went right for me. Yeah. Um, Sec power that I didn't want <laughs> and I would have gotten rid of if I could have. Uh, did the impossible Ugh. and was just stu stupidly lucky. We, we did the math, and if you multiply all the probabilities, oh, the odds yeah. of that actually happening was like, it was ridiculous, because it was a 50-50 going off with one dice. Yeah. Uh, a one in yeah, nine. I just really, th it was a toss away. I'm like, ah, I'll just, I'll toss one dice. In. Yeah. A one in nine percent chance that will, uh, one in nine percent chance that you'd, I'd fail, because fail. I'd roll a nine or less. Yeah, and then it was, it was and reasonably then reasonably, It was about, uh, after that, it's a three quarters chance of me yeah. running off the table. Because I need to roll a six or more. Yeah. Yeah. So, but all those probabilities on top of each other slid. Pretty it's unlikely. like 3%. And turn one, getting first blood and knocking out essentially a sixth of my army. Yeah. Um, before the first shot was fired was huge. Yeah. The only time I've ever had a crazier thing happen was I once deep struck a librarian, dropped a vortex of doom over Gosgothraka's head, and instant killed him for Sight of the Warlord and first blood in the second phase of my turn. Yeah. But other than that, that was cool. And then my movement phase, I was on terrain, and you're, I love the call where you're like, double ones! Why yeah. did you say that? Why yeah. could you say double sixes? So, yeah, that was all good. Well, that and having your wraith, was it uh, 12 attacks, and you got two hits? Two hits on 12 attacks, and then, uh, well, I think I got a wound, but you passed your two up armor. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't red. One or two wounds or something like that. Uh, I got my two. I did wound on my, my hammer wraths, but you passed the, the armors as well. Yeah, nothing. And, and that was the attack. You needed that. I needed hit, one or two the, dead. The, 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 the torrent of fire to bring him down. Exactly. My, my original plan was shoot up the wraiths at you, and it, I was hoping that I would eventually win that combat. And if so, the, I would just bounce him to the next thing, kind of thing, yeah. and try to keep him alive. Because they, they were pretty survivable. And then I. On top of that, not only did I whiff, when you hit me back, I failed four out of I think five, three out of four. I failed two instant killings and one out of two normals. Yeah. So I failed three out of four, three up saves. You didn't make the leadership. I did. No, no, they were fearless. Oh, fearless. They were fearless. Yeah, that's why. Um, the only leadership I passed was the one over there with the, um, with the, the uh, destroyers. Yeah. The jet bike. Guy. But uh, yeah, that was you know it's one of those games. We had a great time. I loved playing it. I would play against this list against any day. I just one of those days where the dice aren't on your side. And there were a couple of inherent flaws with my list compared to the uh, with the scenario that we're playing. Yeah. Because most Maelstrom Wars, we just draw up to that number of cards. Like drop to three, drop yeah. to six, and we can jump around the table. My biggest problem was we rolled a one that we had to camp on objectives, and I only had six or seven units. Yeah. So and one of them got taken off an objective. Turn one, psychic phase. Yeah. So I think what, every round you were on two, I was on three. So I was getting, you know, 50% more cards than you every turn. Yeah. And then, you know, as soon as I saw that one Dark Angel, oh. card, I knew that was, That's, that, that was the nail card. in the coffin. Now, the only problem and, and with we, that card... We did actually roll for that one off camera just to see, you know, count yeah. what if. And I was going to get five, eight. so we win three points. Yeah, six so points on that. that. The next round, I was going to get eight, eight points. points at least. If you're um, lucky, nine. So yeah. that's why we called the game. Now the thing is, the only thing that's not broken about that one card, I argue it's the most broken card in the game, um, is what if you get it turn six? Yeah. Then you can't do it. But well, no, then you just get one point. You get one point. Exactly. You call the one that you're already on. Yeah. And you're in one point. The me that one card is so overpowered because your opponent does know you have it. You don't have to do any indication that you have it. No. And uh, you can essentially, because especially in this mission or most missions in general, but this mission especially. You choose one that you have, and it doesn't look abnormal to me at all that you're yeah. camping on an objective that you need to generate more cards in the future. Yeah. And then you automatically get two turns later, three plus D3 points. And I, I don't think I've played a game with my Dark Angels yet. That you haven't gotten the card. With that card does. And I, I think there's maybe one or two in the deck, but man, they come up all the time. All the time. But and my fly didn't have the Vortex. Um, no. The fly is getting put in the hangar after today. And I've yet to get a Vortex off even once. No. And it was just, again, you didn't know I was bringing Necrons. But it no. just happened to be, when we were, I, I knew it ahead of time. And when you called, when you realized too, I'm like, oh yeah. Because it was blind. And I didn't even realize it had. Blind against Necrons. Yeah. He's awesome. Uh, one of the things with, with going through so many different armies is 
just trying to keep up on all the rules. And, you know, I put a good amount of effort into doing that, but, jeez, mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, by the time, for this game, by the time the one unit came off, the rates got lost, you were down to four units, one of really, which... It was just a giant death star that you could, not even a death, I wouldn't even call it a death star, but it was a giant squad that you can avoid. Yeah, well, even just that one squad, once it was off, you saw me just dance around and mm -hmm. stay out of range and outshoot you and pick my targets. That, exactly. Nothing could have gone worse for me turn one because that was my goal was to, because I had three kind of equidistant squads yeah. that I was hoping to keep you at bay. And I, my biggest worry was exactly that, that you could just flank. Yeah. And once you flanked, it was, I, if, if I rolled as bad turn one, or turn two as in turn one, it would have been game, I think. Yeah. I think. And then, then yeah. you could just keep blinding that one squad. I mean, I had some bad dice throughout it, but I didn't have any bad dice that affected the game. Oh, I did. <laughs> I definitely did. But it was okay. You know, and it was a, you had very good strategy too, and you took advantage of, you wisely took advantage of my misfortune. Yeah. I, and not much I could have done. Like, when I, when I could have assaulted that one squad earlier in the game if I didn't get rolled double ones to get out of terrain. I had seven throwaway um, objective secured units that I could, I had yeah. more throwaway objective secured units that I didn't care what happened no. to them than you had units on the table. Yeah, so, I think I only had, well, yeah, because actually like mobile units, I had two squads and warriors. I think I had five total. Yeah. Uh, destroyers, wraiths. The flyer that we never flyer saw. Flyer that we never saw, so six technically, yeah. Flyer never came on. Uh, and th that, was, that was very bad dice. <laughs> yeah, but it happens. Yeah, and it happens. You know, and was, was, my hope was that maybe I got stupidly lucky and blew up at your tank that one turn. It would have brought the game closer at least. Oh, the guy in the back. Yeah, yeah. It would one you know, shot. It would have been seven to six, but uh, now I didn't get a single six. Yeah. So it happens. You know what? You, when we play as much as we do, we have games that we roll well, and we have games that we don't. Yeah. It happens. Though so anytime, well, I, I mostly play the good guys who I'd consider yeah. to be the good guys. And whenever there's a good guy against the bad guy, especially the Necrons, they're really bad guys. They're the, they're the zombie, the, the techno zombies. What did you do? <laughs> so, you, you know that, you know, I, my dice are just going to be that much better. They're not going to fail me against techno zombies. Oh, man. The only thing cooler would have been if you were able to get that power off and duplicate the result of turn one, turn two on my... on my. Because you were scared. Squad. After the first round, you were scared of that. <laughs> Suddenly, Psychic Shriek was the soft... Cutting yeah, power. because well, you saw that the second psychic round, the second or third, um, you did not try to deny psychic shriek. No, you tried to deny terrified, just because it was terrifying well, you. Only because psychic shriek in general, um, it only did it only do like on average you roll ten and a half per three dice, right? So it, yeah. it would kill one guy maybe a turn. But I think you, you still have to roll to hit with that one yeah, too, right? Yeah, I think maybe. Yeah, that's what the beta is usually you do because it is a witch fire and you have to yeah. roll to hit. Uh, so it's a two third. Statistically, it's a two thirds chance of killing on average half a guy. Yeah. Versus you knocked out twenty Necron warriors yeah. in cover. Turn yeah. one. Yeah. And it was on a four up dice roll. I didn't even remember you had an extra. Like you were like, oh yeah, an extra dice. And, and then it had up. You're like, oh yeah, game changer. Yeah. Love it. I love it. See, I, just like when I played Dark Angels against Trevor, and he failed that leadership test, which left a bloodthirster at weapon skill one for the rest of the game. Like, you love it when these things happen. You don't expect them to. And you know, with Trevor, I find if there is roll this die or something drastically evil will happen to your army, he will fail almost every time. Yeah, he will. He will. Oh, man, it's... <laughs> that's funny. All right. Yeah. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. Got, got to come back next time. What, what army do you think is next? Sisters of Battle, do you think, or Tap? Well, so I've got... Uh, your sisters are looking good. Yeah, I've got... Well, I still have another couple of years to play to right. paint. I've got a uh, Sisters of Army, uh, Sisters of Battle, yeah. Skatari, Inquisition, and Tau. I'll probably do Tau next because they're fully painted and mm -hmm. the codex just dropped. And yeah. there's a couple of neat little yeah. um, things I want to try out with them. And so, I have an army that I know I'll want. I, not not I, you know me. I never tailor against any army, but I have an army that I, I think would one army that would face it. Yeah. So probably not survive, but we'll see. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Stay tuned for more games. Till next time, this is Jay and Dave saying.